Market predictions for 2023 in the DMD area. One, we're going to see the interest rates ease down a little bit. Even though the feds are talking about a continued increase in the prime rate, we're still going to see the interest rates overall slightly come down. Some economists are talking about third quarter of 2023 where the interest rates are going to come down into the 5% range. My prediction is that we probably won't see that until maybe the first or the second quarter of 2024. But buyers have adjusted to the higher interest rates and we're seeing them out there. Two, I predict that we're going to see a lot of buyers and lower inventory. Builders are building fewer homes and we're seeing more homeowners staying put. So with the fewer homes that are coming on the market for those sellers who are wanting to sell or needing to sell, we're going to see more buyer activity focused on a smaller group of homes. Three, this is a prediction that probably isn't really a prediction because it's predictable every year. The great looking homes are going to draw all the attention. So it is a flock toward quality and also the homes that are prepared for the market the buyers are going to direct all their attention. So if you see three or four homes out there and one is looking the best, and even if it's higher priced, we'll still see the buyers go towards that home, ignoring the other homes. Four, we'll see sellers and buyers flock toward quality real estate agents. In 2023, we're going to see thousands of realtors leave the marketplace. It's predictable as the market slows down and the number of home selling continues to decrease a bit, you'll see real estate agents leaving the marketplace. We already see 50% of realtors selling little to no homes in the marketplace and they can't survive in that marketplace. So you'll see buyers and sellers seeking quality real estate agents who have quality business and have a great business plan in terms of knowledge of how to help sellers and buyers in this marketplace. Five, am I on that right number? Is it five? I think I'm five. You'll also see home prices increase, but that's only a percentage of the homes that you're going to see the market increase for those homes who are prepared for the market. So 2022, we saw the prices increase tremendously across the board. In 2023, it will be selective. So the homes that you'll see going above the 2022 prices are the homes that look the best. They are going to set new record prices, but you'll also see a percentage of the homes fall below the 2022 prices. So increases for a percentage, but a greater percentage you'll see dip down a little bit below the 2022 prices. Six. We'll also see buyers moving back towards their jobs. So we had during COVID where buyers ended up pushing away from their work locations because they were working so much from home. We'll see more buyers moving back and towards the city areas where they get closer to their jobs. Commuting is coming back and buyers are coming back into the workplace in the office. So we'll see more buyers moving back in closer to the location of their work, closer to those areas where there's public transportation and metro access. Seven, where's this market crash? We are not going to see a market crash. Plenty of people are talking about it, willing it to happen, wishing it would happen so that they can get back into the marketplace. I don't see it happening. There's still such low inventory of homes available for the number of buyers that are in the marketplace. The interest rates have steadied out and leveled out and we'll probably see them still decrease a little bit. So the buyers are going to be out there and I don't see a market crash at all across the board. If you like this information and you wanna get more updates as I post new videos, like and subscribe, and I'd love to hear your comments on what you think for the predictions of the 2023 real estate market update in the area.